Hello students, welcome to the e-learning platform presented by Mechanical Engineering Department of Dr. Bapuji Sarake Institute of Engineering and Technology, Kolapur. The learning objectives for today's session are number one, study of Pelton and Francis Turbine. Study of Pelton Turbine and Francis Turbine will be completed in today's session. Its construction working different parts of the turbine will be studied in today's session. Second, study of reciprocating pump. In a second point, pump will be starting in today's session and the classification of pump in which the reciprocating is the first type which we are going to study in this today's session. Starting with Pelton turbine or Pelton wheel. Pelton turbine or Pelton wheel is an impulse turbine best suitable for high head. That is, it is used for high head. It, as shown in figure, consists of number of parts. Below are the some parts which we are going to discuss in detail. The very first part is called as runner. The runner is the part where consists of a circular disc mounted on a rotating shaft or rotor. It is at the center as shown in figure. This circular disc has a cup shaped blades called buckets. It is placed evenly spaced around the circumference of the runner. The bucket are divided into two halves or in shape of double hemi hemispherical cup. Hmm? called splitter. This neutralizes this axial thrust. The second part is the nozzle. The nozzle is the passage of flow of water. The one or more nozzles are provided to adjust the amount of water with high velocity jet impingence tangentially to the piece circle of the runner. The jet of water split into two equally and flow around the inner surface of cup and leaves at outer surface. The jet deflects through 160 degree to 170 degree without mixing with inlet jet. The third is the spear. The spear is a conical needle uh, which is operated either by hand, wheel or automatically according to the direction. When Spear moves in forward direction into the nozzle. The amount of water striking the runner is reduced while pushed back. The amount of water striking the runner increases. Next is breaking jet. Breaking jet when the water jet of water is completely closed by pushing the spear in forward direction, then amount of water striking in the runner becomes zero, but still the runner keeps moving due to the inertia of the e runner. In order to stop the runner in shortest possible time, a small nozzle is provided which directs the jet of water at back of the veins hmm, or at back of the cup. This jet of water is used to stop the runner of Pelton turbine and is called as braking jet. And the casing, last is the case or the casing. The casing is outer covering of Pelton turbine. It prevents splashing of water and helps to reduce uh, and helps to discharge the water uh, to the tail race. It also acts as safeguard in case if any accidental uh, problem occurs. So these are the main parts of an Pelton turbine or Pelton wheel. Let us now study the working principle of Pelton turbine. The Pelton turbine, the water stored in a dam flows from high head through pen stock and reaches the nozzle of the Pelton turbine. The nozzle increases the kinetic energy of water and directs the water in the form of jet. The high speed water jet strikes the bucket at splitters placed at the middle of the bucket where the jets are divided into two equal streams. 
These streams flow along the inner surface of bucket and leave outward in direction opposite to that of incoming jet. This makes the runner to rotate at very high speed by change in momentum that is direction as well as speed of water steam produces an, an impulse on the blade. The, this impulse generates the torque and rotation in the shaft which is coupled with the generator. So mechanical energy is converted into electrical energy. For obtaining in power maximum power output the impulse of jet on the blades is should be maximum. The second type of turbine is Francis turbine. The Francis turbine is a mixed flow type reaction turbine as shown in figure. These are generally installed with their axis vertical. The design of casing is in spiral or volute casing type. In this water enters radially mm, into the runner at outer periphery and exits the at the center through the draft tube. The steering are held together by fixed stay vane which direct the water to guide vane provided on the periphery. Water with high pressure head energy enters the runner the through spiral casing surrounding the guide vanes. The water loses some of pressure energy in the spiral casing to maintain its speed. Then water passes through guide wheels or guide vanes when, when, where it is directed to strike the blade on the runner at an optimum angle. During the flow of water through runner, its pressure and angular momentum decreases and imparts reaction on the runner and power is transferred to the turbine shaft. This shaft is coupled to the generator for electric power generation. If turbine is operating at a design condition, the water leaves the runner in axial direction. Water exits the turbine through the draft tube as shown in figure which acts as an diffuser and reduces the velocity of the flow to recover maximum energy from flowing water. Starting with next point, pump. A pump is a device that moves fluid that is liquid or gases or sometimes slurries by mechanical action. Pump is classified into three major group according to the method they use to move the fluid, direct lift, displacement and gravity pump. Pump operate by some mechanism generally reciprocating or rotary and consume energy to perform mechanical work by moving the fluid. Pumps are operated by main energy sources include manual operation, electricity, engine or wind power mm. and it come in many sizes from microscopic for use in medical application to mm, large industrial application. So pump is a device that uses the mechanical energy that uses the e, mechanical energy e, to move the water from one place to another or to move the fluid from one place to another. The application of pump mm, or mechanical pump serve in wide range of application as follows as pumping water from wells, mm, aqua, aquarium filtering, pond filtering and aeration, car industries for water cooling and fuel injection in energy industry for pumping oil and natural gas for or uh, operating cooling tower in medical industry pumps are used for biochemical processes in developing and manufacturing medicine and as a artificial replacement for body parts in particular mm, uh, different types starting with the very first type reciprocating pump or single acting reciprocating pump if they are also known as plunger plump. Plunger pumps are reciprocating positive displacement pump. Reciprocating pump have to and fro motion. The motion is backward and forward in a horizontal plane, uh, 
हॉरिजॉन्टल प्लेन और इन हॉरिजॉन्टल पोजीशन एंड अप एंड डाउन इन वर्टिकल पोजीशन दिस कंसिस्ट ऑफ अ सिलेंडर विथ अ रेसिप्रोकेटिंग प्लंजर और अ पिस्टन व्हिच इज क्लोजली फिटेड इन सिलेंडर एज शोन इन फिगर द सक्शन एंड डिस्चार्ज वॉल आर माउंटेड इन हेड ऑफ सिलेंडर पिस्टन क्रैंक मैकेनिज्म एंड सक्शन एंड डिलीवरी पाइप द वॉल्स of suction and discharge are exactly opposite in cylinder head with a spring the walls are operated according to the pressure developed in the cylinder during the to and fro motion of an piston in suction stroke the piston rotates from the piston of an crank rotates from 0 to 180 degree the piston moves backward creating partial vacuum in the cylinder due to this suction wall opens and the liquid from the sump gets sucked into the cylinder through the suction pipe this is called as the suction stroke in delivery stroke the crank rotates from 180 degree to 360 degree the piston moves forward creating high pressure in the cylinder so plunger pushes the sucked liquid in the cylinder out of discharge wall since the suction wall is closed this operation is continued and the discharge is obtained on delivery side when the graph is plotted between the crank and the mm, discharge and crank rotation it indicates that g- during 0 to 180 degree crank rotation there is no uh, discharge uh, that is during suction stroke but 180 degree to 360, 360 degree crank rotation the discharge through pump gradually increases till in 270 degree angle then start decreasing into the crank rotation hence from above nature it shows the discharge through pump is intermittent that is the discharge through pump is mm, uh, not regular the single acting pump is one is the one which is having single suction and delivery pipe the second is double acting reciprocating pump in the in this the disadvantage of single acting pump that the discharge through the pump is intermittent is completely eliminated in this pump there are two suction and two delivery pipes used on each side of suction and delivery stroke on each side suction and delivery stroke occur simultaneously as shown in figure when the crank rotates on Mm-mm. from one inner dead center in a clockwise direction a vacuum is created on the left side mm, of the piston in cylinder and liquid is sucked through suction wall s1 at the same time the liquid from the right side of piston is pressurized and high pressure is caused in cylinder which acts delivery wall d2 to open and plunger pushes the initially sucked liquid in cylinder out of discharge out of the pump through discharge wall d2 since the suction wall s2 is closed this process continue till the crank reaches the outer dead center as crank rotates the piston moves from outer dead center to inner dead center the liquid is sucked from the suction wall s2 and delivered through the de- delivery wall d1 and the piston reaches to inner dead center in extreme dead center thus completing the one cycle when graph is plotted between the discharge and crank rotation it indicates that during 0 to 180 and 180 to 360 degree crank rotation the discharge is is obtained so the disadvantage of single acting reciprocating pump that is intermittent and <coughs> pumping is eliminated by use of double acting reciprocating pump the purpose of air vessel in in reciprocating pump an air vessel is a cast chamber provided or providing with a provided with a closed stop and small hole at bottom it can be filter or either it can be on filter or on either on suction side or on delivery side or on both side of the pump and always fitted near to the cylinder the purpose of providing air vessel is 
इट प्रिवेंट्स एक्सेलरेशन एंड रिटार्डेशन ऑफ एयर लिक्विड द पंप कैन रन फास्ट देर इज नो पॉसिबिलिटी ऑफ सेपरेशन देर इज नो पॉसिबिलिटी ऑफ कैविटेशन रिडक्शन इन वर्क डन अगेंस्ट फ्रिक्शन एंड मेंटेन यूनिफॉर्म फ्लो इन सक्शन एंड डिलीवरी साइड so this is it for today's session in today's session we have completed types of turbine that is pelton turbine and francis turbine and started with the pump and we have completed the types of reciprocating pump that is single acting reciprocating pump and double acting reciprocating pump thank you